Okay, I wanted to go ahead and show the loop here. It's a hundred feet and I have it staked down on the ground in a square type configuration. I do have some more stakes coming to uh, keep it uh, staked down. There are a, little, a couple little high spots. You do have to really get it down below the level of the grass or you can hit it with your, your lawn mower. <coughs> Excuse me, but right now it's just laying on the ground. I'm still waiting for the um, the uh, matching box from LMK over in England. I have received confirmation that it has been sent, so we're going to try that as soon as it gets here. In the meantime, I put up my old uh, active magnetic loop uh, receiving antenna. I've been having some interesting... Uh, observations with it this is the same coax here that we're going to run the uh the loop on the ground on this is actually an active uh receiving antenna um it's by wellbrook now i do believe that they're out of business now but they were a manufacturer of receiving antennas um over in the uk and i've, I've had this for quite some time actually and i've just installed it here uh, at my shack I'll just give you a little overview here. Here's a elk log periodic, two meter sideband satellite work. Um, the other um, antenna that we have here may not be the best, but this is a, a half wave, 80 meter dipole, 10 feet off the ground. Uses a two to one ballon. So about 25 ohms at the feed point ups it to 50 so I don't have to have a tuner and then off in the distance there is the DX Commander 9 series it does have a nice radial field I have several other um, portable antennas at some point we might do a video on those I've got my uh, uh, 2 meter 440 and uh, 6 meter vertical there on top of that that building there that coax, if you're interested, it runs down the inside wall and out that little hole right there. Right there, goes underground into the shack here. So, anyways, that's going to be the setup here for the um, uh, loop on the ground uh, experiment that we're going to try. And I'm just waiting for the matching box to come, so uh, stay tuned. Okay, I got the um, LMK Technical Solutions uh, transformer installed on my 100 foot loop of wire that I have configured in about a 25 foot by 25 foot square. It's a little frosty this morning. We're going to give it a try. We also have our active uh, mag loop receiving antenna. We uh, will test that one as well to see if there's any difference in the receiving noise off in the distance dx commander 9 series and then a 80 meter dipole 10 feet off the ground all right let's go check it out now oh, welcome back now we're in front of the radio just want to give a little quick demonstration here as you can see i have both vfos uh tuned to 7285 you can clearly see a difference in the waterfall. The left being the vertical DX Commander 9 series and the right being the loop on the ground receiving antenna. Now you can see the sometimes the really strong signals will get up there around uh, S, S9 or so on the loop on the ground and they're peaking sometimes at 20 over on the, on the vertical. But as you will hear here in just a second, uh, there is a, a noticeable difference in the, the atmospheric static or the noise, okay? So I'll go ahead and turn or unmute the, uh, the main one. It's pretty loud. I'll go ahead and turn it down just a hair. Okay. This is a net going on down in... Uh, in the Lubbock, Texas area. Yeah, and incidentally, two to Mr. Gotham, uh, please don't tune up during the net. 
Yeah, they're asking people not to tune up during the net. Well, yeah, because at that point it's malicious interference. Okay. That doesn't stop a few people. Now you can hear. Well, I know it doesn't. Most talking. of them don't care that they're maliciously interfering. That's on the vertical. Or they're doing it on purpose. Is that alternative? And this is on the sub receiver. Yeah, I see speed. Morning, Tom. Good morning. And yeah, Tom, there, he's got the same signal on both uh, both receivers, or both antennas. So, but anyways. Yeah, we had probably uh, tenth of a mile, mile uh, visibility. Good morning, Tom. We hear you just fine in Lubbock. Good morning to you. I got you loud and clear up here. Okay, whoops de doo uh, Are you going to be at Relay Station this morning? Good morning, Mr. Charlie Brown. KB5, KKT. We're on the uh, sub receiver, the one on the right on this one. Do you think you'll be a relay? He said yes. Oh, I didn't hear you. But as you can see, there is a, a visual difference in the waterfall. Quite a, a little bit more noise over here on the uh, loop on the, or excuse me, on the uh, DX Commander. 9 series and a little bit less noise on the loop on the ground. We're going to try something here and uh, we're just going to tune around to a, a frequency on uh, 40 meters that there is nobody on Good and compare a, a noise floor here that uh, where there is no traffic and you, you, you'll clearly be able to see that there is. Well, there's nobody talking here. S6 noise floor, S7 and an S1 on the uh, loop on the ground. So, will well, it uh, get rid of uh, some of your noise? Uh, without a doubt, it will definitely get rid of some of your noise. Some of your weaker signals, you might have a problem hearing them come in, but you might be able to use your preamp and pull them out without uh, uh, amplifying too much of the, of the ambient noise that's uh, in the vicinity of your of your shack. So anyways, I hope this uh, little uh, demonstration loop on the ground gives you an idea of what you might be able to expect at your QTH. I'll leave a link in the description below for the loop on the ground transformer. And also I'll leave a link to the video that uh, Josh uh, did that inspired me to do this one here. So with that, I'll say 7-3 and we'll catch you on the next one.